On November 2nd, voters will vote yes or no to authorize the Waco Independent School District to issue $355 million in bonds to fund the construction of four new schools. The bond package would pay for a new Waco High School, new GW Carver and Tennyson Middle Schools, a new Kendrick Elementary School and renovation of South Waco Elementary School. The new schools would be built on the present school's campuses. Passage of the bond issue will cause an increase of 10 cents per $100 of property value value in the district tax rate, which would translate into approximately $9.80 per, per month more in school property taxes for the owner of a home valued at $170,449. Should voters approve the bond package in November, construction and renovation of the schools would be completed by 2025. If passed, the bond would be the largest the district has ever had since 2008 when voters approved a $172 million bond issue for the construction of a new university high school. With the Waco ISD school bond election approaching, members of the community, they had the opportunity to take questions on what that means for them. We showed you to her before. Here she is again, Fox 24 Jessica Rivera. She attended that community meeting today as people were able to get their questions answered by Superintendent Susan Kincannon. Jessica, what were some of the questions the community had to ask? Adam, people wanted to know, are they getting a bang for their buck with this bond? Even though tonight's turnout was low, Dr. Kincannon is optimistic about more people coming out to community events like today. Brook Oats Neighborhood Association hosted a community meeting today to get more people involved in the bond election that's approaching in November. Too many questions about Waco High School. One of the concerns I heard from the community is about how much it is. $355 million is a lot of money. Even though there was a small turnout, Dr. Susan Kincannon was able to answer the community's questions. I'm out giving a presentation to make sure that our community has all the information um, that it needs to know about the upcoming bond election on November 2nd. Every fourth Monday, community members come together to discuss what's going on in their neighborhood. Sammy Smith, the president for Brook Oats Neighborhood Association, was pleased to see people from different age ranges engage in what's going on in their community. You have uh, senior citizens like myself, that's my children are grown and gone, but still you want to uh, have that knowledge to know what's going on in your community. Being a homeowner himself, Sammy is concerned about the tax rate. Dr. Ken Cannon says, Average homeowner in Waco ISD would pay $10.89 a month. They would see that on their tax bill to fund these four new campuses and one renovation project. However, Sammy is unsure about the amount of the bond. I'm not 100% sure for me that $350 million was needed. If the bond is approved, it will replace Waco High School, GW Carver Middle School, Tennyson Middle, Kendrick Elementary and renovate South Waco Elementary. Later on the newscast, Dr. Susan Kincannon shares some updates on GW Carver Middle School. In the studio, Jessica Rivera, Fox 44 News.